Hey guys, welcome back to the Get A Clue Marketing Show. This is David Deke and today we're talking about how you can get 30,000 new leads onto your email list using contests, sweepstakes, and giveaways. Plus, on this episode, I'm going to show you how this company pulled it off and we're going to show you how they reach so many different fans. Plus, I'm going to give you some sources that you can start right now setting up a contest for free on three different sources that you can start right now. This is all coming up on the Get A Clue Marketing Show. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back to the Get A Clue Marketing Show. Now, in our facts and stats segment, uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, contests and giveaways and how it can boost your business, you know, practically in the next 30 days. So um, we've found some interesting facts uh, when we were researching this. And there's a, uh, if you go over to HubSpot, HubSpot is one of my uh, favorite places to go for uh, statistics on business and things but uh, this uh, girl Pamela Vaughn uh, she made this uh, infographic on who participates in contests and giveaways and this is going to help you narrow down your uh, target market for uh, your business and for targeting uh, products okay so going through this uh, the best duration of a contest you can see 20 days, 25 days, 60 days. Isn't that interesting? I was going to do mine because I got a 10K challenge coming up. I'll tell you more details about that. But uh, I was going to do mine in, in 30 days. So this is quite interesting that the natural duration for a contest is uh, 60 days is the peak, uh, the average number. Okay, so... Um, that's interesting to know, especially if you want to do something quick. Now, I know there's some people, uh, like on YouTube, giving away something every single day, and that just uh, just brings out people that just want freebies. Also, the best time of the year to launch contest: May, June, November. It's November now, so we need to get started on that. So you can see uh, this breaks it down by demographics and things. It shows you, you know, the best type of contest to run. You got sweepstakes, quizzes, instant win, photo contest. And uh, this was another one I was going to do is a, a survey and you're only getting 4% in polls. Now these are good for quick turnarounds. If, if you're going to do like a weekly contest, um, you know, uh, a quick poll or a quick survey to get uh, your audience, uh, get a feel of your audience. That That's great, too. But looks like sweepstakes and quizzes are the best. So if they can answer those questions or if they just want to enter, then uh, those are the best ones uh, to do right now. They're the most. And you also have to understand how much work is involved, too. Sweepstakes, you just enter in your email and you have a chance to to win something. Okay, so we talked about the best duration. We talked about, you know, a third of the uh, applicants uh, receive information from brands and other partners. The average time spent by participants on a contest app is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's something that you uh, you want to go through. You don't want to have to go through some long, drawn-out thing, unless it's very expensive. They're, they're giving away a you know, a, a, an RTV or something like that, then, uh, then the contest has to be more challenging. So here's some of the popular categories. Uh, travel is 20%, entertainment, 18 music, technology, fashion. And notice you don't have anything on there with business. You can be really creative with that. Um, I'm going to be doing a creative contest coming up called the 10K Challenge which uh, basically is getting to know how much knowledge that you have about marketing and by participating you have an opportunity to win some prizes okay so the information asked by the brands that are participating they're asking obviously for the email first name last name age isn't it interesting i didn't know that's that was pretty high age country postal address 
A lot of people are afraid to put that in, as you can see, only 30%. So this will break it down, you know, a little triangle here to show you the power for apps and the incentive prizes and target audience. That's really what a contest is if you have the right software and things like okay, that. Okay, so here's another fact for you. Uh, this was a case study done by Diamond Candles, okay? And this is uh, over on Wish Pond, which I'll show you that in just a second. But here's the outcome of what they did. Uh, in just six weeks, uh, using Wish Pond, Diamond Candles generated over 30,000 leads, okay? That's without using any type of advertising. So they got 30,000 new leads. They got 40,000 repeat participants. They got 148,000 uh, Facebook fans, and 35% of that was from mobile, okay? So that just shows you that this stuff works. These sweepstakes works. If you have, you know, some inventory on your shelf that you want to get rid of, you know, spice it up and make a, a great contest out of it and give it away, okay? How about this? The Major League Eating is back for the annual $40,000 July 4th hot dog eating spectacle. Now, this is Nathan Hot Dogs. They've been doing this for years and years over in Coney Island. And a lot of times they go on the beach and they just have this contest. It's real popular. And the prizes are up to $40,000. Now, um, that $40,000 is just a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of uh, publicity that these people receive. And every time people go to the grocery stores on the 4th of July, what are they going to think of? Nathan's hot dogs, okay? So that's a real good example on, you know, how to use contests for your brand, for publicity, and things like that. Okay, so in our do-it-yourself section, we're going to talk about how you can start uh, running your own contest. I went over to smartblogger.com. And I found out how you can run a simple contest and add 500 new subscribers to your list. Now, again, we just saw how you can add 30,000 uh, new people and 148,000 fans. But uh, 500 sounds good if you're just starting out, okay? So you're going to need to set up your, uh, your email list, uh, have an incentive. Okay, so you can read this blog. I'm not going to go all the way through it, but... Um, I wanted to tell you this about why an iPad is a terrible prize, even though everyone wants one, okay? So here's something I wanted to uh, to show you is that why an iPad is a terrible prize uh, for your contest. And I read it down here because you don't want the people that are subscribing or entering in your contest to be uh, somebody that just wants the iPad and doesn't care about your niche, okay? So here's an, an example for you. If you ran a, a contest on your dog grooming blog, giving away an iPad, I'd probably be uh, tempted to enter. But as soon as I received your first email blast of high quality pet care content, I'd probably hit unsubscribe quicker than a greyhound chasing a hare because I don't have a dog and I don't care about grooming them. All right. So it's all about audience. If if you know, your audience don't, you know, really, if you're doing electronics, uh, maybe you're doing, maybe you have an electronics store, maybe you have, you know, something uh, has to do with electronics, then an iPad would work. If you're doing something like, uh, you know, dogs, pets, t-shirts, anything like that, and you can win a, a free iPad, then it's not going to work. Your audience, uh, you definitely have to have a targeted audience for what you want to uh, to give away and to uh, offer as a contest. All right. So I found that interesting as I was researching that if you're thinking about giving out a uh, an iPad for a, a prize, then you might want to think again. So here's a few websites that I wanted to show you uh, that offer these cloud type contests. All right. There's Short Stack, Wish Pond and WooBox, all right? These are the top three that people use for social media contests. You can, uh, you know, run through here real quick. It's free to get started. You can see the examples that they have. They have photo contests. So they have all types of, um, you know, photo contests, giveaways, coupons, 
personality quiz. Apparently, they have they have gone from uh, contests into doing coupons as well and other other type of things. So that's something that you can look at. Here's some of their templates. Now, again, you have to come up with the copy. It's not going to, you might have to fill in the blank here, but uh, you're going to have to come up with your own copy. You're also going to have to come up with your own rules um, for your for your country, for your state, uh, because they don't take um, people in the law, <laughs> law enforcement, uh, especially the FTC, you don't take uh, contests and sweepstakes uh, lightly, okay? So you definitely have to have terms of service. You have to have the laws that you're going to abide by in your state, in your country. And these people can help you out as well, okay? Here's Wish Pond over here. And you can check out all their prices, do it yourself, done for you. Woo Box, here's another one that you can start out with. But I'll put all this in the in the show notes for you so that you can just go right over to there. So and in the case study that was done by Diamond Candles over here was by Wish Pond. All right. So you might want to take a look at and this is a sample of what it so looks like. So there's your uh, do it yourself sites for contests. You got short stack, you've got Wish Pond and Woo Box. Okay. Those are the uh, the top three that I picked and they seem to be uh, getting a lot of attention. You can see the Alexa rating on these are really high. Okay. So in our book market segment, I wanted to give you this link to this uh, Wish Pond case study. Uh, plus, I wanted to show you um, this person here. She's winning contests and sweepstakes uh, because she's a professional. She's a professional participant in these sweepstakers. Okay. And she's won all these different things, a Kindle, uh, two portable blenders, two uh, $2,000 shopping sprees. But she spends hours, look, she, she admits to uh, a couple hours a day, and she submits, submits uh, 36,000 entries a year, okay? And she wins 1% of them. So I find that pretty interesting. I mean, if you got spare time and all you have and you're going to uh, fill out these entry forms, that's a lot, okay, a couple hours a day. But, you know, it could be therapy for some, and they're, they're making money from it, and they're winning prizes. So I just wanted to give you that as a bookmark, too. So I wanted to show you this website, too. It's called the Tomato Art Fest, and these are the winners of the contests that they have. And like I said, you can be really creative on all your uh, contest and, you know, you could just put a little bit of creativity and you can make a lot of, uh, get a lot of entries and get a lot of people interested in your stuff. I, for this uh, website, I wanted to show you real quick and how you can break down different contests if you wanted to, like recipe contest, house decorating. This was a cornhole competition. Uh, kids art show uh, with different age groups and things like that so that's something else that you want to you know diversify in your contest if you want to uh, take a segment of your business and break it down uh, into different contests look at this a bloody mary contest a tomato fairy elf contest i mean it, <laughs> a, a tomato 5k running contest I mean, the uh, sky's the limit on, on what type of contest that you can enter. But I found that interesting over here at the tomatoartfest.com uh, where people are just passionate about tomatoes, okay? And finally, in our Ask Me segment, uh, I've got this question all the time. When are you going to run your next contest? Well, we're getting ready to do the 10K challenge, uh, which is a marketing contest to find out how much uh, people know about marketing and by entering you're going to be on uh, a subscriber list that will give you 21 online classes for free uh, to give you information about marketing branding yourself etc so that's all coming up and um, I'm gonna I'm just getting out the the legal details and getting all the terms and you know the uh, requirements done uh, pretty shortly, but that's coming up. You definitely want to 
uh, sign up to the Get A Clue Marketing Show when we're going to launch that. You definitely want to subscribe also so you don't miss another episode. So that's about all the time I have for you today. This is David Deacon. If you want a certain uh, marketing tactic or strategy talked about um, and you want me to record a video on that, then leave a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll get back to you with that and we'll, uh, we'll work on that. So thanks a lot for watching. This is David Deke and I'll see you on the other side.